Why do we keep Shabbat? What is the Sabbath? Why do we keep and follow Torah? How do we keep Torah? Who is Yahusha? Who is Yahuwah? Are Yahusha and Yahuwah the same? What are the commandments that we follow today? Is there a difference between the Tanakh, the Old Testament, and the Brit Hadashah, the New Testament? Are they one book? Or are they two books? All these questions and more are answered as we step into our new Q&A form. Join us as we walk through the pages of the Father's Word, rightly dividing truth to answer burning questions vital to every believer. Brother Donnie, go ahead, brother. It's, it's, it's uh, something that you spoke on that, but um, I always say that uh, Yahuwah does not put more on us than we can bear, and Hashatan cannot bother us unless he gets permission. But if we use the power that Yahoo has given us, we have more power than, over Satan than he has over us because he has to have permission to do something to us. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. And that's why, that's, that's why there's so many different things. When we understand, when we call on the name of Yahushua Mashiach, we're calling on his authority. He's, he has all power in heaven and earth, right? The Father gave him all power in heaven and earth, and he says, call, call on my name. So when we call on his name, what we're doing is we're exercising his authority over the devils, over demons, over curses. We're exercising that strength, that power over it, because we know that all power was given to Yahushua. So therefore, why am I not believing in his authority over these devils when I call on his name? It's because sometimes people just thinking about, they think that Satan is just scared of saying his phonetic name. That's not what it is. There's a lot of wicked men that Satan uses that's probably named Yahushua. Matter of fact, there was a witch, a warlock in scripture named Yahushua. So there's a lot of there's a lot of these things in in scripture. So it has it has nothing to do with the phonetic sound. It has to do with the authority and power over heaven and earth. Yahushua was a common name in Israel. It wasn't like it wasn't like some brand new name that just popped up on the scene when Messiah was born. So what was the name that he gave him above every other name? It was the authority. Yahuwah has never given a man authority the way that he's given it to Yahushua, the Messiah. Not Yahushua, uh, the son of Nun. Not Yahushua, uh, the son of, of Zerubbabel. Not, not Yahushua. There's a whole bunch of Yahushas we could talk about, but they, don't, they didn't have the name that was above every other name. Only the Messiah has the name that was above the every other name. And if we believe in that name, then we can call on that authority and we can cast out devils. We can call on that authority and we can immerse. We can call on that authority and we can receive healing. Go ahead, Brother Joseph. Oh, I was just going to ask, uh, where in scripture is there the warlock that was named Yahushua? All right, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. His name wasn't Yahushua. His name was son of Yahushua. Sorry, Acts 13, verse 6. His name was Ben Yahusha. It says in Acts 13, verse 6, it says, uh, well, some, some translation says Bar Jesus, uh, but in Hebrew is is Bar Yahusha is Bar Yahusha, a uh, Ben Yahusha, and in Aramaic is Bar Yahusha. Bar Yahushua. Sorry, so this uh, this sorcerer's name was son of Yahushua. <laughs> Still, a sorcerer named Son of Yahushua. I mean, <laughs> it still sounds crazy. All, all I know is that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I didn't even remember it was Son of Yahushua. That's even like weirder. But just knowing that the name was a, it was a, it was a common name. It was a common, common name that exists. 
I've never seen anybody name their son Yahuwah in scripture or outside scripture. Praise Yah for that. So that's pretty crazy that he would he would inspire even with the wicked men of this world, nobody to name their son Yahuwah. You see what I'm saying? That's pretty, that's pretty insane by itself for us to be in that reality. Nobody in history named Yahuwah when there's these wicked people that can name their kids anything, you know, but there's Yahushua has been named, there's Yahushua is the name since, since Exodus. Yahushua has been in scripture and in history, you know. So um, what does it mean when you call on his name? Very important for us to know, because if we don't know, then you can't do it. That's the thing about scripture. The power of Yah, you have to know and understand. You don't just wield the power of Yah without knowing how to wield it. If you can't, if you don't understand what it is, then you can't do it. That's just how it is. If I don't understand about the Ruach, I can't receive it. That's just how it is. We can look at that in Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19, these people that were followers of John the Baptist, they were, you know, it called them disciples. They didn't know what the Ruach HaKodesh was. Did they receive the Ruach HaKodesh just because they were reading and studying scriptures? Absolutely not. They had to receive Yahushua HaMashiach as, a, as their sacrifice in order to receive the Ruach HaKodesh. This is in Acts chapter 19. So you can't just receive the Ruach HaKodesh. You don't even know what the Ruach HaKodesh is. How can you call on the name of Yahushua? You don't even know what the name of Yahushua is. You think it's Yahushua. It's not Yahushua. The name is the authority that he possesses from Yahuwah. That authority, no one else has in the existence of man on this earth has that authority except for Yahushua. So we call on him and his authority when we pray. Uh, go ahead, Brother Donnie. You know, that's kind of amazing, and it is a baraka that what you just said, um, you know, they can call on Yahushua in different names, and like different ones of us did, more than one name, Donnie, one more than one name, Jadiel. Well, to the most high, there's only one Yahuwah. You never heard of no one else's Yahuwah because he's the creator and the almighty one. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. I, I did a search. Now, people nickname themselves and do all this other stupidness, but it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how Yah is able to do certain things. That's why I trust the scriptures so much, because if Yah is able to preserve that, he's able to preserve his word, whether he wants you to dive deeper and, and read it in English and then read it in Hebrew or whatever, whatever it is, he's able to preserve what he wants you to understand. You know, I've been reading the English Bible and it led me to Shabbat. It led me to the Torah. It led me to all these things. Everybody talking about it's done away with. I'm reading the English Bible and I see that it's not. He put it, he allowed it to be in there. It's in there to guide us to the correct thing. You know, so I pray, I pray in, in his authority, in the name and authority of Yahushua, that we all understand. And when we believe that he does have this authority, then we can partake in that authority when we call on him. Sometimes we believe that that's why when he went up to people, he says, what do you want me to do for you? He went to the blind man. He, he says, do you, you think that I can do this for you? Why will Yahushua ask, do you think that I can do this for you? And then when he does it, he says, your faith made you whole. Why? Because you believe that I am the master, that I am the one that possesses the power of heaven and earth. You're honoring me because you believe that the father has given to me what I can give to you. But when he went to Nazareth, they thought he was just Joseph. They, they knew he was Yahushua, but they thought he was Joseph's son. They thought he was just a carpenter. And it says in scripture that he could not do miracles because of their unbelief. What did they unbelieve? Did they unbelieve that his name was Yahushua? No, they knew his name was Yahushua. What did they not believe? They did not believe that he had the authority to do these miracles. That's what they did not believe. Yeah, so um, I hope that the... <laughs> 
I hope that that I hope that this makes it a little bit more clear uh, on when we emphasize to people, especially people in the world, people that we talk to about the name, and we're busy talking about the phonetic sound. We don't tell people about his to believe in his authority to save them, to believe in his authority to deliver them from sin, to deliver them from the curses, to deliver them from the pain and all of that stuff. We don't tell people about that. We just tell people they're using the wrong name. Don't do that no more. That's not what the scripture tells us to do. It tells us to tell them about his name, what he can do, what he has the authority to do. Then you could tell them that his Hebrew name is Yahushua. Because when they believe and they follow him, they're going to see the effects. Whether they know his phonetic name or not, they're going to see the effects. I, I felt and I seen the effects in my life transform my life before I called him Yahushua. Uh, go ahead, Brother Donnie. Yeah, uh, again, uh, another thing I caught what you were saying about the, uh, you, you read the uh, English translation of scripture. Um, it's not what translation that you're reading. It's the Ruach that teaches you because all right. scriptures have been tampered with. So if you allow scripture to speak to you as scripture and not lean to your own understanding, taking one chapter and then going to another chapter, leaning to your own understanding to what you want to teach and not allowing the Ruach to teach you, that's where you come in and mess up at. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Praise Yah, absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent point, Brother Donnie. All right. Well, praise Yah. I hope that this was a blessing today. I hope that we can, you know, all of this does not mean Nothing means that Yah is not. This is this is just another evidence that Yah is trying to help us to understand Scripture more. Is it does not mean that Yah wasn't with us because there was not under no. Yah has been bringing us more and more understanding this whole time. So praise Yah. He's just trying to bring us to a place where we have one mind, and that there's no divisions among us. You know. So um, I, I encourage everybody. Go ahead. And, and, and study, study that out, put all those verses together. Um, I would say, put all those verses together, see the context of what it's saying and put all the places where you see his name, look up the name, type in his name and I see all the names that pop up, all these different places. Um, and just to reason in your mind, you know, is this a phonetic name that's above every other name? No, because other people have the same name. Does that mean that they have a name that's above every other name? I, I want I want somebody to answer that question. Does Yahusha, the son of Nun, have a name that's above every other name? No. 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 Yahusha, son of Zerubbabel, when they left the kingdom of Persia and went back to a uh, went back to, to Jerusalem to rebuild Jerusalem. He was a Levite, by the way, I believe. He was a Levite. Did he have the name that was above every other name? No, none of them had names above all the other names. It's just the most high names, right. his only begotten son, Yahusha, but he has power. Right. He was, yes. with Yahusha. he was with Yahuwah in Ruach before he became flesh. Praise Yah. Praise Yah, only begotten son. Praise Yah. All right. So now there's a lot more, but I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, if you guys are tired, I don't want to um, exert all your time. Um, let me see. Well, praise Yah. Um, there's a lot more. <laughs> there's a lot more. <laughs> Let me let me get some thumbs. Can I can I show you one more verse? One more one more group of verses. Okay, okay. Bring it out. Oh, good, good. All right. So let's go to Philippians chapter two. Everybody knows Philippians chapter two. Let's go to Philippians chapter two because I want to I want to show that Yahusha 
when was he given a name above every other name it wasn't when he was on this earth when he was on this earth he had authority but it was by the faith it was by the faith of the believer that would allow power to go through yahushua into them because he was the prophet just like every other prophet was able to perform miracles um that yahuwah used them but there was something there's something special about yahushua like what brother donnie said about him being with you but when he came to this earth he humbled himself so in philippians 2 verse 8 it says he being fashioned as a man humbled himself and he became obedient unto death even the death of the state and then it says wherefore elohim so it says after he humbled himself unto death to the stake it says wherefore this is why Elohim highly exalted him and gave him a name above every name. That at the name of Yahushua, every knee shall bow and things in heaven, earth, and under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Yahushua Messiah is what? Can somebody see that? Is Lord or Master. Is Master right? that he's the master to the glory of Elohim, the father. So this is why every knee is bowing. This is why every tongue is confessing that he is the master, because in verse nine, Elohim highly exalted him and gave him a name when he humbled himself unto death. When he was resurrected from the dead, Elohim said that he highly exalted him where? To the right hand of Elohim and gave him that name that was above every other name. That authority, which is above every other authority. The Hebrew word for name is Shem. That word Shem means authority. It also means like name, like identifying name. And it also means character. So he gave him a name, a authority. He gave him an authority that was above every authority that ever existed that everything in heaven and on earth should bow to him this is not this is not the same this has not been done before then it says that every tongue will confess that he is the master because we believe in that authority you cannot have a master unless he has authority over you if he doesn't have authority over you he is not your master Brother Donnie, go ahead, brother. Yes. Uh, when Yahushua was, before he became flesh, he was in Ruach at the beginning of creation. He had authority over that then, but he came with the name above all names once he humbled himself before dying on the stake. Absolutely. So before, when we look at Exodus, we look at Exodus, there was a messenger that he gave authority over Israel. He had to tell Moshe this, though, because they looked at Yahuwah. Yahuwah told them, I'm going to send you a messenger. He's going to lead you to the place that I prepared. And if you don't listen to him, he's not going to forgive you your transgressions. And then it says in Exodus chapter 23, verse 22, it says, because my name is in him. So the reason why this messenger is able to not pardon their transgressions is because Yahuwah's name is in that messenger. First Corinthians chapter 10 tells us that that messenger that was with Israel was Mashiach. And because they tested him in first Corinthians 10, he, they were talking about the book of numbers because they tested Mashiach in the wilderness. Mashiach allowed fiery serpents to go into the camp and bite them. And so they had to remind them of the authority that was given to the messenger by lifting up the bronze serpent. And when they looked at the bronze serpent, they were healed. Every, Mashiach has always been the giving of, him, giving of authority to Mashiach. But when he came down and humbled himself, he showed everyone how to do it how to be a man and follow Yah, how to be anointed by Yah and follow him to the death. And when he was resurrected and he fulfilled his mission as a sacrifice, then he was elevated to the right hand of Yah again. 
and given that name again. But what is he going to do with that name at the end? Does everybody, anybody know? Can you ask that question again? Say, say that again, brother. Can you ask that again? Oh, I was saying, what is he going to do with the name that he received from Yahuwah at the end? When everything is all done, what is he going to do with that name? Uh, give it back to the Father, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24 to 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24 to 28. He's going to take that authority and he's going to give it back to the Father. Watch this. Verse 24, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 24, it says, Then comes the end. So obviously this is talking about the end. When he shall deliver up the kingdom to Elohim, even the Father. When he shall put down all rule and all authority and all power. Yahushua is going to put down all rule, all authority, all power. This is also another verse that just destroys the oneness idea that he's the same as Yahuwah. He's not because he's going to put it down one day. Look at what it says. Verse 25, it says, he must reign until he have put all his enemies under his foot. The last enemy that he shall destroy is death. So there is no eternal dying and fire. There's death. There's a soon there's an eradication. And once once Yahushua eradicates the existence of death, meaning that all the wicked are gone, all the righteous have immortality, there's no more death. So when that happens, he gives back all rule, all authority, and all power back to his father. Verse 27 and 28 says, for he that put all things under his feet, but when he says all things are put under him, it is manifested that Yahuwah, he, Yahuwah is accepted, which did put all things under him, Yahushua. It was Yah that put all things under Yahushua. Psalms 110 verse 1 says that. Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. So it's Yahuwah that gives him the power to make all the enemies under him. Look at what it says in verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him, Yahuwah, that put all things under him, Yahushua, that Elohim may be all in all so elohim could be the only exalted mighty one above all now doesn't it mean that yahoo is not going to make him king over us that's that's not what it's talking about it's, just, it's only talking about between him and his father that's what it's talking about we're 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 gonna just be watching this <laughs> we're just watching this from the outside we're not we're not touching any of these things we're watching this but yahushua is going to be king over us but all rule and all authority that he possesses now is a special situation that he's going to lay back down after he's completed his mission once he completes his mission he will give it back to the father he will become king and then we'll all reign with messiah in the kingdom of elohim praise yah go ahead brother donnie so that so that is uh, basically saying once he lay down all things back to the father, he goes back to Ruach when he was Ruach at the beginning of creation. Well, he's gonna be the way he is now, just like um, us when we receive immortality. Whatever that type of body is, that's what we're gonna be for eternity. That's the same body. That's the same type of. It's a Ruach. It's a Ruach type body, definitely. But I don't believe that's the same existence he had before. I think it changed because he's he's connected to us now. Yahushua is gonna be connected to us forever. He's the one that brought us to the Ruach. We have the Ruach, we become Ruach uh spiritual beings because he transformed us into the image of his son. So Yahushua is not going to ever change from that image because that's going to be our image. If he changes from that image, it wouldn't, it's because of him that we have that image. So if he changes from that image, this is my perspective. Now I haven't seen any verses on it, 
but I just know that it says that when we see him, we shall be like him. So when he comes, we're going to have the similar body, body style as him. Um, but we're not going to have the same identifying body as Yahuwah. Yahuwah is different. We're going to have the same um, body structure as Yahusha when he was resurrected. Um, I don't believe that that, go, that went away because that's, a, that's actually a gift. That, that's the spiritual body that um, he received. Um, so when it doesn't he, change his identity though. Okay. It okay. doesn't change his identity. His identity is the same, even though his body was changed, e even when he came to, to be a man and humbled himself, it didn't change his identity. He was still the son of Yah. So he's he just giving still back to the, had the Right. Right. He's just giving back, giving the, back the authority, the authority the of the that, father. That, that, that Yah gave him when he came, became flesh. Right. Okay. And this is why he tells us that if we ask anything in his name, that he will do it. That's why he tells us this. Because he has this authority now. And he's saying, if you ask me anything, if you ask him anything, I would I would talk, I would get it from my father. If you ask my father of anything in my name, I will do it. Of course, it has to be lined up with his will and your faith and things like that. But he's already he's already telling you that if when you when you believe, when you trust, when you walk, you ask in that belief, in that power that he has. And he and the, and the father will give it to you in the name of his son. That's why we're able to cast out devils because we we cast out devils because when we when we approach the situation in in the authority of his son the same way they responded to him is what they're going to do when they respond to us because he's with us lo I, I will never forsake you i will be with you always even unto the end of the world you know so is is very important it's a, it's a it's a realistic is a realistic perspective of his authority he's our master so he has authority over us. So we do what he says. We call on his authority because he has the, the power. We call on his name because he has the power and authority to do the things that he said he would do for us. We get immersed in his name because it's by his authority that we receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You know, so... I hope that this was a, I hope that it was a simple uh, breakdown. Um, I try to make it, I try to be simple and even in my understanding when I'm sharing um, what I believe it says in scripture, you know, but I hope that this helps us understand more about the name and how we can teach it to others, you know, along with understanding the true phonetic sound of his name. All right. So, uh, Praise Yah. Praise Yah. I appreciate everybody on the on the study and um, the questions, the input. Amazing. Um, uh, let's continue to study and let's continue to pray in the name of Yahusha. Continue to walk in his name. Continue to live in his name. All right. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. We pray this video is helpful to your journey in the truth. Remember to be like the Bereans in Acts 17.11, who received the word with all readiness of mind, then searched the scriptures to see if what they heard was true. We have studies for the whole family, including children, every week. To learn more, visit assemblyofyahuwah.com. Use the Join tab to express interest in participating. Use the Give tab to help support biblical assembly needs. To be notified of new videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Trust in Yahuwah with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Much love and shalom.